Okay, I've got five o'clock. I'll call the Harper City Council meeting to order at this time on June 23rd, 2022, five o'clock. Uh, we'll have an invocation. David, you yes, offer that for us, please. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you today. We thank you for each and every one that pressed out today for our Hartford meeting, Lord. We thank you for the mayor. We thank you for the council meeting. And we thank you for the people of Hartford being in the meeting with us, Lord. And we ask you to just bring uh, understanding and we get things settled in our wonderful town, Hartford. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> all right, I see we have several visitors tonight. I think you all are on the agenda uh, down here later on, so we'll address your all's issue then. Other visitors, if you wish to speak, uh, you can go ahead. Um, you're about the parking, right? Okay, we've got that on the agenda too, so we'll give you a chance there. Jonathan, you got anything? You're just busy. All right. Okay, glad to have you. Appreciate you coming. Uh, we'll take a look at the minutes of the last meeting. I don't know if you had time to read them or not, but uh, when you do, I'll accept the motion to adopt those minutes. Second. Second. Any discussion? Any deletions, additions? All in favor? No motion carried. All right, we'll take it. Tara's not here tonight. She's got COVID. And so we'll go into our financial reports, uh, take a look at, at our balances, all the accounts, and everything. If you have any questions, uh, now be time to ask them. Other than that, if you. Whenever we get ready, we'll take a motion to adopt those as well. Make a motion to. Uh, All right. Thank you, Stacia. I'll second. <clears throat> All right. Her bill second. Any discussion? Any questions? On this street improvements, do we have, uh, like the balance abouts, do we have any streets that we're trying to look at on? Maybe black topping or anything right now? Not right now. No, we're waiting to see what Gillespie's going to cost us once we get that construction done there and see. Okay. See what we've got left to do with other. I thought the hospital was going to pay for Gillespie. Mm -mm. No, we are. I don't know why I do. Are they paying for the difference in the tile sizes that they want for different? I thought Tony said that they would be mm -hmm. willing to repair oh, this. That, nothing's ever been mentioned about it. Okay. That's all I got. Anything else anybody have? Not to entertain a motion, but you feel comfortable. You already had first and second on it. <clears throat> um, already, that was a question discussion. Yeah, it's been a long day for a, me. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we can do it again if it need be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All in favor, uplifted hand. Motion's carried. We'd have no old business, so we'll open the floor for new business. The first issue is uh, downtown parking. Uh, the council member asked that we bring it to the council and let the uh, council decide about the downtown parking. Um, this will be a time for you to uh, pr make a presentation to the council. Okay. I don't know if I consider downtown or not. I'm at twice as nice, kind of out of business. I've had issues uh, 
I fell and broke my uh, elbow. I got pictures so I can pass them out to you. I tripped right in there about November of 2021. I tried to talk about getting something done. You can see in one of those pictures where the sidewalk has dropped below the uh, curb. And this block top is was what I got. Yeah. And it's in front of my door. It's not even where I tripped. So I feel personally I feel like that was a retaliation for asking. I mean, that's me personally. So a couple of three months ago I mentioned about how bad the parking is on the side of the building. Because someone is going to get hurt. I had a lot of people that did until the silence put up enter that side door because they cannot walk the distance they have to walk to get to the shop. And they use canes and stuff, and they cannot navigate this. Do that one. And the icing on the cake was this sign that was put up facing the highway and not the parking spot. I, I don't know why this is going on and what it is with that building, but I'm, I'm trying not to be upset, but I am very upset. Where that sign was put, if, if no one knew that sign was there, when they pulled up in there to park, there's no doubt they would get that sign. Because it's facing them. Um, just where it's at. You know. yeah. And this is what, that's not burning in my heart. Really. That's how bad it is on that side. Yeah. And a uh, lady called me last night, and she said to let y'all know, and she comes over from Owensboro. She has reported to the ADA uh, about the American Disability Act about how it's imperative that she has a place to park because she cannot get to the building. And, and, and I feel like personally that everything's been against me. It's a short time that I've been trying to plan this building. The parking's been gone, and now it's just like, uh, well, the other day, a couple of weeks ago, I was giving work a message that uh, Steve Wiggins wanted to talk to me about the parking. And I, I'm to, I'm at, I'm at what we'd say I want to do. You know, I need parking. That's, That's a right. non-going issue in the city limits right now. Well, it? I mean, that's yeah. a huge problem with well, I mean, the they, city. They've right taken all of my parking away. Uh, I mean, there's no And I place. get what you're saying, but that is one of the biggest right. needs I don't know why it could be parking. done. Black so, top, just like it was, where am I at? This street over well, here. So was Wiggins reaching out to you your yeah, I want to go get a car or something, and you know I can't be responsible for any of that. But I understand parking is an issue. It is. But that, I it's mean, a major issue right here in town. Completely. Especially solid. on 231. Well, the thing of it is, too, I understand that my ex-brother-in-law owns this property. His daughter and his son, who right now are at a family reunion, or they will be here, brought me the maps that they got from the courthouse, which says that that's their property down to the, the highway may be encroaching on the property as it's shown on these aerial maps. Now, they have said very plainly, they will fix that sidewalk beside that building without any quacks there, don't you yes, that. There and they're willing to do that. But they also want that sign then because that's private property. I think we put a sign up just to relieve the city of any kind of liability. I approached the highway department several years ago about putting in some diagonal parking there next to the street. Uh, they would not allow us to do that because uh, it created a safety hazard because you can't see to behind the way the road comes in. You can't see it. So that was one reason that the sign was put up was just to try to relieve the city of any liability if somebody did get hurt there or anything like that. So uh, whether we have forced well, you or know, people have been parking along that area since I was a kid. But it was horse and wagon then. No, it wasn't, Smarty. <laughs> it was the lanes. People parked along there. There was also parking there on 69. But the majority of them still parked right there. 
There never has been a wreck there until somebody rolled off the curb or something. I don't know what it was. And if you look carefully at these aerial photographies, it's clear that Tommy owns the property where that sign is. Well, he can do anything he wants to, you know, but the city needs to be relieved of any liability. We leave a sign there, they can do anything they want to. I don't care, you know, they can park wherever they want to. It doesn't bother me a bit, but it, we have to have some kind of uh, uh, relief from liability of somebody getting hurt there. Well, are you going to do the same to everyone who's on a corner in downtown Hartford? Well, that's the only one that I know of is causing any problems. Well, what's the party? This was not causing any problems. Well, okay, I mean, that's fine. They can do anything they want you, to. If, if, they want to if they want to pay for that and let people park up there, that's their, that's their property. It's not care. the parking that's the problem. It's the people walking on all that stuff that's broken up. Yeah. We, so, we, therefore, we I don't it, see we, where the sign was even we necessary. Will, we will... Tommy will fix that. Tommy and Daryl will fix that. So she says she's yes, checking she the could do it. Okay. Yes. So if that's Mr. Minnett's property, would he be the one that's liable for accident in the city of Hartford? Well, we just have to make sure that the city's not drawn into it as well. Well, well I think circuit. that's already been told to one person, has it not? I don't know. It's nobody rolled off that curb and threatened to sue the city? what Tara told her. There was a lady that pulled up there and scraped the bottom of her bumper and yeah, wanted she, us to fix it. And yeah. That's the only one that I know of. It's ever I had a problem on that corner. People had to cross the highway the way they do with yeah. from coming across. Yeah. Just tell them to go ahead and fix all the sidewalk they want to and just make it wide enough for people to park up there or do whatever they want to. But the city has to just maintain you know, some kind of a safety factor where we're not going to be sued if somebody does that, get injured there. I they can do anything they want to. Are you going to do it for all of the corner businesses in downtown Hartford? Are you going to require the same thing from them? For what? For any liability, anybody getting hurt on that corner? I think if everything's clearly marked downtown, you know, to what you, where you can park and where you can't park. I don't know what you're looking for. You, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, they can go ahead and do whatever they want to down there. You know, just put in all the sidewalk they want to. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to protect the city is all I'm trying so to do. So would, would it be more beneficial if there were signs up that says this property belongs to Tom Bennett? I don't or? think so. No. It's like any other corner in this, this town. That's why I'm saying, if he wants something in writing regarding liability from Tom and or his heirs or Dara and, and Joey, who happen to be his power of attorney, then you need to get it from everybody who owns property on the corner in Main Street. Down well, down. It, would that then, not be the city? I mean, we fix the sidewalks. Do those belong to the city? Is what I'm, I guess I'm asking. Would there be a liability? Somebody fell in front of his well, I can't business. answer that without a lawyer here, and you know that. <laughs> I'm just but I am saying. saying, in all fairness, you can't require one without requiring every corner of property to do the same thing. Well, I don't think that anybody else on the corner is claiming that the sidewalks are theirs, you know. I think this is, you're looking at two different situations. Then, then if the sidewalks, then why did you put the sign there? I mean, that's, that's yeah. what got me. Just it's to relieve the city of liability in case somebody parked up there and then pulled out the street and hit somebody else. Well, I wasn't worried about the parking as much as people falling on all the broken up stuff. Yeah. That's, that's the only that's thing. That's what got me. And, you know, once somebody parks up there, then the sidewalk, there's no room to walk or anything like that. It's, it's That's their decision. If they want to do that. If that's their property and they want to fix the sidewalk and park on it and block traffic, that's their decision, you know. So what about the front sidewalk? The what now? The, the front, front sidewalk. Well, the curb is, I mean, it's, it's 
obviously. There's not a whole lot that you can do to that front sidewalk because of your porch and the supports there in the sidewalk. But that can be filled in with something other than blacktop. Well, in. they put they put some blacktop filler in there Which to try to transition store, it. And it wasn't even where I felt. It wasn't even necessary to put it where it was put. Yeah. I can go with the I can tell him to take some more down there, but it's not very off. it's not very high. It's not what high enough you, to what stuff are you your asking for them? What do you Someone want? Picture. Want, want There's the a sign removed. Want the the sign curb removed comes up higher than the sidewalk. The sidewalk here. has there. settled. See One how of that those is belongs to me. See right in there. I actually had there. a lady that fell there, and she got a big old goose, and she was from out of town, so she didn't want to file a report. Somebody's going to get hurt. So, and right there, the sad part is, is you fall about into traffic. The day I fell, I fell into traffic, and it wasn't for Abby Conway's wife and uh, all the lady that worked at the board. I probably would have got ran over because it was right at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I fell into the highway. And Where's that out. other picture of the aerial map visual? Uh, she's got in there that I've got to step back at. Said it. Mary Bell, you're telling me that they own this property on that side according of the parking lot. According to the maps, so where is this? Where is this at on this side of it? Front. On the front side. Do they own that too? It, I didn't even look at the front side. We were talking about one side only. I understand that. It's all right. What she's talking about call it, is is the fact that she fell and broke her arm. I understand yeah. that. Okay, but I'm we all I'm getting at is if they're saying they own this, why are, why are we going to fix this side and not fix the other? I don't think we're going to fix the side. But well, she wants that side fixed where the black top yeah, was right at. Here. But my question is, is this ours? Why this are that? Why is, why is no, the owners yours. wanting to fix yes. that side this of it? Tom Does somebody sense to me. Put that in there. Yes. Okay, so it's just because it used to be part. That those lines right, and the curb is exact, lifted now, and you, know, you can't park where you, you used to, by. right? Right, okay. and it's forcing everybody to have to use. Really, the front has nothing to do with the problem we're here talking about. Side, here, sure. that was that was me wanting the front fix. Yeah, okay. the which is reasonable. I mean, I'll put asphalt, I mean, uh, concrete in if I can. I just don't know because it's not my property. I just have people tripping on that, and I can't, I don't want anybody hurt. That's my concern. It's not very high, and once they put something in there, it'll chip. It'll come out pretty quickly. You know, we'll put something in there. Don't worry. I don't want black top. No black top. That black top got tracked well, in my store, and it still gets tracked into the store because it's right in front of the door. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I I come. I'll talk with Jason and we'll see if we can't do something there on that to try to believe you did. Because I'm safe trying to save you from a suit there because somebody's going to fall off there and they're going to see it. Which one? I'm sorry. Pull concrete in there, it's going to get water under the bus. Well, it's so thin that there's not going to. I know. You almost have to. Would it be chip it out and we'll get some huh? thicker railing or we'll try some. No, because I won't just stay okay. Just I, I ain't seen the front of it in a while. But can we, I mean, can they put steps there? You don't come in after, after you put the concrete in. I do a little bit of concrete work myself, too. <laughs> and not us, but uh, maybe we could find out on the concrete, on the steps coming down, so when you smooth that out, you have a step coming down to the street there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Okay, it would be, is already a step. It would be nice to have an yeah. ADA slope mm -hmm. like the other I side. I think there and then we could fix this. See, right here it is Melissa. a step up here. Right. You know, right. 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 Uh -huh. I think right. there and then we'll fix that. I'm, I'm, right. I, we I will take mind. care of the front of the store. I didn't know why. get the sign did. removed. Or at least it's like she said, if you're going to put up a no parking sign. Put it the way they're going to park. Right, right now, no one even sees it. That's the why somebody comes pulling in can see it. They can't. They can't when it you face the from street, 30. doesn't it? It, it shouldn't face the street. Faces, it should face yeah. the parking spot. But people are coming in off the street. 
if you're coming in. Yeah, but they're looking at the back of the sun when pearl. they do. That's why I have this circled here. That's the pole. When, when I pulled in, all I saw was the side of that pole, and that was it. You can't even see the sign. And that's what really aggravated me. Well, the sign, I thought front, the sign faced, oh. faced Main Street. Oh. No, okay, there's the front of my Jeep, and the sign is facing Main Street. It should be facing my Jeep. And it's not. You should read it from, I don't know what you're saying. But you can't see that sign and read it correctly unless you're coming from Union. You couldn't pull up 231 and pull up there and even see that it says just no the way I thought it was facing Main Street. No. Uh, it, well, it is down Main Street, but not. We'll take a look at it and even remove it. Okay, just turn it around. Well, that would be appreciated. So and we, I want to remove. Mm -hmm. we need to remove. We have no parking. Yeah. None. And the thing of it is, when it's people bring stuff to the out. store, sort of yeah. like me, Cut out the I can't carry it from mm. that parking lot up there. Yeah, I thought it was the signers because of that, because I can't carry it from the store. No, 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 on the sidewalk mm. side of it. Do what now? I'll go down there with you tomorrow and look at that concrete and stuff with Jason with you down there too. Well, Tommy is going to fix the concrete. I've been down there enough time with the concrete well. people and all. We've, we've got estimates on fixing that sidewalk three or four times, you know, and stuff like that. It's just, uh, I know about everything the situation down okay. there. So. You can put this in the minutes if you would like. Dara? What's her husband's? Brian. It's Tom Bennett's daughter. She told me they will fix the concrete on this side of the building. Period. So there's no need to worry about that because they will. They will fix it. So the main thing you asked them for is the sign to be moved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. If they're going to fix it, yes, let us part there. Yes. That, we'll just take it out. Thing there. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. People in the apartment, we really have a hard time because they live upstairs. And right. They have parked three blocks away. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got all that filled. Okay. Um, alleyways. So is There's that some... the decision that's being made that Tom will fix a sidewalk? Yeah. And you're going to take the sign down? Yeah. Thank we'll, you. Take, we'll take the sign out. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next alleyways. Tara has, I think, the diagram for this. I can describe it for you, but if you'd rather wait till next time and look at where they're talking about, the Deckers have come to me asking that some old alleyways be officially closed. Alleyways that are no longer being used, like, like so many that we've had here recently. Uh, they own property up uh, where, about where the old slaughterhouse used to be. If you're not familiar with that, it's up in Phillips, comes down uh, Thomas, and uh, which one is that? Smith Street. Walker. Smith Smith. Yeah. You know, they own between there and the little street. I'm not even sure what it is. It goes up beside. <coughs> Sam Memorial which, Gardens. Which name that street? Which one? The one that goes up Sam Memorial Gardens. Phillips? Not Minton, but uh, the other one. I can't think. Anyway, I think it's a continuation of Phillips Lane on that diagram. But anyway, in the middle of all this property, there's a alleyway that runs through the middle of their properties. Of course, it hadn't been used in 50 years, you know. And they also want to, the alley uh, Phillips up here, where it ends at, uh, we'll just postpone it and I'll show you the diagram. That's the simplest thing to do because uh, she's got it at her place and, and uh, take, chasing down some owners or whatever. He wanted to close what's not being used 
and just it is completes it that, their property is what it does. Is that that space when you come down in front of the habitat people and you go to the that's corner? Phillips, yeah, is that's this Phillips. the alleyway that they're walking Phillips, Well, Phillips comes down only to a point. And, I mean, that, as far as it comes down, is down to... That's not Smith Street, it's... No, it's... it's um, I, I know what you're talking about. I was on it today when we picked up trash up in there. Yeah, I can't think of the streets. Smith Street runs back beside the park. Okay, the next street over is the street that used to run up to the slaughterhouse. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's where Phillips actually right now ends. Ellis Phillips ends right there at that street, whatever that's it right. is. That's right, okay. All right. Okay. There's on the Phillips, it actually goes on farther, but it's been this, never has been uh, paved or anything, never has been completed. It actually goes all the way through their property. And so he's asking that the part that hasn't been closed from from that street, whatever it is, I'll go in the office and look at the map and try to come up with that street name. But Phillips, Ends right there where the slaughterhouse used to be. Mm -hmm. All right. He wants to, that officially close from from that street where it shows Phillips no longer that no longer exists. He wants that officially closed. Which since he owns both sides, it would become his property. Right. And then there's another street well, he, that runs runs perpendicular to that, runs parallel mm -hmm. to the one that I can't think. Taylor Avenue? I'm, no, it's not Taylor. I'm totally confused right now, but if I'm not mistaken, we signed that alley over to that man that lives there in the corner. Well, let's continue what the alley that was a continuation of the street. I can't think the name of it. It went straight Thomas, up and down. Thomas Street. Is it Thomas? Is it Thomas? Is it yes, Thomas? Thomas. Okay. Yeah. It goes right up to well, the slaughterhouse and yep. this Phillips comes across uh -huh. and he ends at Thomas Street. What we closed was the alleyway that was the continuation of Thomas Street. Right. Okay, what he wants to close officially is the rest of Phillips that goes out this way that's no longer being used. In fact, I think the old slaughterhouse was built on that street. Here's Phillips. Here's where your houses not, are. Yeah, I know where you are now. And Thomas. Mm -hmm. All right. Phillips on the map comes on straight across, but it was never developed. Yeah, it was never paid. It than was than never than completed. Is he willing to buy it from the city or what? No, the it's just a, it's an alleyway that was not being used. He is asking that we close it. Is is it Porter Court? He's got another alleyway over here down through the middle of his property. It's like the ones behind... Uh, it's not Porter Court, is it? Huh? Is it Porter Court? No. Oh, the street over here is Porter Court. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The one that runs beside... Uh-uh. I know what you're talking about. It's like any of these other alleys. I since know. It, Okay, since it's not being used, he wants it officially declared closed. And then, since he owns property on both sides of it, then it would all become his property. It's a, it's well, a, then we would have to deed that property to him huh? as we close that alley. Right. Is he willing to buy it? To I mean, buy, yeah, to I mean, buy we that just property? Give him land? We've never sold it. It's like uh, anytime we close a alleyway, Half of it goes to one owner, another half goes to the other owner. We never get any rem remuneration for it. Well, never I mean, have. I buy this, this, this strip that wide. If they wanted it bad enough, they would. I don't know. We just, we <laughs> just, I, I just, we just close one that yeah. run parallel to Clay Street. Mm -hmm. Oh, between. yes, I'm well aware of that one. Pardon? I'm well aware of that one. Okay. We, we closed half of it about a year or two ago. Mm -hmm for Ms. Doble. Right. We closed half of it because it was... Here. By the museum too, right? Is that another one? Mm -hmm. By the museum? 
No, the, this was over here between Smith Street and Thomas oh, Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's parallel between. Yeah. We closed half of it for Ms. Dopo because there was a tree growing in it. We were supposed to give half to her and half to Jerry. Right. Well, Jerry didn't want it, so all she of that went, to, went right. to her. Okay, then here recently we just closed out the half of that alleyway mm -hmm. request. There was trees growing up in the middle of it, that big around. Okay, so it's just another case of somebody knowing there's a alleyway there that they don't own, the city owns it, the city has no use for it. They want to know if we'll close it and deed it half to half. In his case, the whole thing would become his. And then there's another one that's similar to the ones we've been closing that were the alleyways for coal and ice trucks to deliver and stuff like that. It's another little alleyway that sits between Thomas and, well, this street here comes down this way. We'll just wait till next month and you can see the diagram and you can see and decide then, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, the next issue that's on our agenda is uh, a ditch work. The Strattons that are here tonight uh, live on their address is Kirk Street, but they back up to Western Avenue and uh, Tony's neighbor. And the properties down Western Avenue have over the years had tiles put in, dirt covering them, grass, and you know, they're just level with the street. Well, the Strattons still have a ditch and it's, uh, mm, I don't know how long it is. It runs all the way across their property. When they've had problems with water in a, in a big storm that would come up onto their backyard, their back property. And what they're asking, uh, they asked the city to consider doing it. Well, we can't work on private property, uh, which is their ditch is actually well, our, our policy has all has been that we'll do uh, some culvert work. If people will buy the tiles, then we'll put it in and supply the dirt to cover it up. Uh, we did this for Mike Irwin over here. He had a ditch that we put in a tile there and covered it up, and now his yard comes all the way out to the street. And he puts up signs saying, don't drive in the yard, you know, or so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the tile is a 30 inch tile that comes onto their property. <coughs> and it, on the other end, I think it's a 36 inch tile. Mm -hmm. Now, what we can, what we uh, can do is put it in a tile, it'll have to have a couple of uh, clean outs and the project is about eleven to twelve thousand dollars and there we're we're trying to see if you all are agreeable to them paying half and the city pay half on purchasing the tiles because the other work was done um, and it may have done it, been done at the city's expense. We don't know. I don't know. I'm not familiar with it at all. But what they're asking is for the city to go in havers with them and put in the tile and cover it over and try to alleviate them from the flooding that takes place periodically. Do we have a written policy on tiling or anything? Not, or is nothing. Or just kind of like. It's all, yeah, I don't know who started it. I don't know which. I think it's something that we need to have more in depth with to look at and see because I know, if I'm not mistaken, Beaverdam don't do that anymore. I don't even think they put them in anymore. Um, I know the county still does, but I don't know that the cities do. Um, 
And I see the problem every day because I live over that way right. too. <laughs> um, the only thing that I'm going to say about this is if if we done this for the, for the for my neighbors here, right. which they're good people and I love them. But if we open this for them, that one, gonna we're going to have to might do that again for the next person and the next That's person. The next person. thing that I would have to add, if I would, uh, about this is the fact that over, over the years, as I understand it, okay, correct me if I'm wrong if anybody knows, from years in the past, before you all had anything to do with it, it's, it's a city thing. Because of some of the mistakes they made with other previous tiles put in that's too small, it's causing us to have to get too, uh, much larger, more expensive materials because of the city's past mistakes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why we're asking for Don't some help. the city ever put in any of those tiles. I had been told that they had. So well, I know that the property, I don't even know who owns Ronnie Dorch's property. I do. Huh? I do. You do? Okay. Yep. He put that in. But he consulted with the city employees to ask them what kind of tile he needed to, to get and put it in there. I spoke with his wife about it. She made a comment to me, just a, just a very short, brief comment. She said, because I was talking about getting our ditches done way back when, when she got hers done. I was asking her about it. I said, how'd you get that done? Blah, blah, blah. And she said, she said, it took me 20 years to get the city to do this. And she just walked away. That's what she told me directly. Now, as far as the tiles, um, <clears throat> the situation is there's one main towel and there's three smaller ones. One of the smaller ones is clear across the street going under the street. So I don't think a private citizen put that in there. The city had to put it there. So instead of doing it correctly and tying it into the towel, they just ran it to the side of it. And doing so, it makes it difficult to encompass all four towels <clears throat> into one. Now, I did some research with a gentleman over there at uh, um, Southern States. Southern States. Stores. And uh, he said he can get us a towel to fit into the towels that are already there. He said, instead of taking out, I've got two towels since my property goes this way. There's two driveways and there's two towels there. Instead of removing those, he could insert a towel through those and connect it up there. And that's Without, with clean outs. But it's too. not big enough, Paul. I understand that. that that's what, uh, when Mr. George came out there and looked at it, that's what he said. It's not big enough because that would cause a backup to further up. And my, my counter to that is, well, it's flooding my yard. So why is it they're so special that they don't get flooded? But over the, as of November of this year, 25 years, it's been flooding my yard. And I've been told that since the bank put the towel up above us, well, below us, that has constricted it, it's now even worse now since they did theirs. So the city didn't do it right, allowing the bank to put a bigger towel in, therefore constricting it even further onto mine. And the city did wrong by having three towels separate instead of tying it into one to make it even more difficult. So where I got an estimate of $4,000, which I was going to pay for, and as long as the city's going to install it and cover it up, when uh, Jason came down and looked at it, now he said it's eleven to 12000 And Mr. George said that we, uh, we agreed to pay in half. I can't pay $6,000. I can't. Now the situation is there's a street right across the road from us. If anybody misses that curve, they're in my ditch. And throughout the years, I have found children playing in the ditch. <laughs> and there's broken glass. Are I'm sorry? That's what ditches are for. But with broken glass and trash and everything else in there. And plus, it's a mosquito fest. So there's health uh, 
situations with the, the pool of mosquitoes there. So we've been asking the city to take care of this and they've given us some uh, bait traps or for mosquitoes to kill it, just dump it in there. But after one rain, it's all gone. They have to keep redoing it. But the ditch is stopped up right now, Paul. The ditch is stopped up right now. We have a tree limb that we've asked the city to help us out that has fallen onto the street, which was our, our fear. Luckily, nobody was walking or a car got hit by it. And the city, and I didn't know it until um, uh, Dixie came home and said there was a limb out there, but the city came in there, cut it, and it's, it's in the ditch clogged up. Normally, I would go out there and mow it, but this year I said, I'm done with it. I'm tired of mowing it. And, and what you have said is, we can't put it on private property. We can't do it. Well, I understand that, but the city has allowed other towels on private property to dump water into my private property. So if they can funnel other places in the city into my ditch, making my flooding worse, if the city can do that, then the city can fix it. Now, there is an easement that I'm thinking the ditch part, at least some of it, is on the city. So therefore, the city could help that as well. So there's like three mistakes the city has done. And I'm not pointing at any fingers on here because this is way before you all, everybody's been on council. So when I say city, I'm not directing at any individual here, so please do not take offense to it. I'm talking about the organization of the city decades ago. Because this was done in place when we bought the place in 97. So that's the situation. And according to Mrs. Dorch, the city did that as well. So that's, that's my piece. Discussion. Before the bank was built down there, in the spring we get these big rains. Well, the water would get up to the trees in my front yard. Mm -hmm. So when they built the bank, they put a tile in there. Water would get under the house if you ain't careful. There were out And a lot of the water that gets in Paul's backyard comes down behind my house, down by the fence, and goes to his backyard. I know when it rains really hard, it'll flood my garage out. Like yeah. that whole backyard from mine and Miss. Uh, Raymond's place, just all that back in that area just floods to no end. Um, when the rain stops, then there ain't no time the water's gone. But last year he'd get up under my house. And I just don't feel like there's big near a tile down there by the bank. And that brings up another liability issue. If, if the city has routed uh, tiles, into the ditch and not doing it properly and it's causing flooding the liability damage to properties and homes themselves who does that fall on since the city has routed these tiles into a ditch and not done it properly Any kind of liability issue, we just have to take up with our attorney and let her. Uh, can we table this discussion for legal counsel? For we can. I think you should. Well, in addition to that, and I want to help anybody out that we can, but if, if there is a precedent set on paying for others and what's needed to pay for, she'd be the one to answer that. But I don't know if there has been. See, I don't, I'm not familiar with any kind of records or anything right. like that. that so what is uh, what is the center mass of the road from that ditch line? Does anybody know that? Yeah, from it's that, 25 feet, I think. Okay, it's so what is that measure from that ditch? His, the tree he's talking about is on their property. That's one reason the city couldn't tackle it, because it's not our, it's not our tree. Issue, yeah. Well, would that be... Uh, according to the base of the tree, the trunk of the tree, or the root system, which the root system is <laughs> <that's laughs> uh, the road, therefore, it's still a city issue because it's still no, part of the tree. No, that, that does not figure into it. Yeah. Okay. It's the location where that tree comes out. But it, it goes right over to the base of his tree, so the, the ditch is actually in the right way of the city. So it is. 
Yeah. The one that we done over here, what was that? What? Which did? It just says name Mike. Is that oh, one? Mike Herman. Yeah. What, what was that one? Um, was it? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not mass? sure what Griffin Street is. I can look it up. It, I've got it in there. But uh, anything to fix our water system, water right. flows. If it's on the city, I yeah. think we'd be okay on that. Yeah. However, if we're not, we can't yeah. pay for anything like that yeah. at all, in my opinion. And I know that to be probably the gospel of it. But right. if it's on us, I. Paul, let's, let us talk to Tara and them at the next meeting just to make sure, and I don't have a problem going forward with it, um, but we need to make sure that we are on the rights of what we're doing before we do it. Well, I understand the situation of uh, doing one and having to do many. Yeah. I understand that. Because and we just can't get into that um, just, just well, because. Can of work. Yes, it, it'd be one person. So we just need to make sure we got it in depth before we go forward on it. I, I, I didn't expect a decision to be made tonight. So I would, um, I would like it. I, I know things have to be looked at. Yeah, just, but we'll, uh, we'll look at it and George will talk to Tara and see what we have. But this is a thing that I think we need to have set in stone on policies on uh, what we can and cannot do uh, on tile work. Mm -hmm. um, it's just my point was, I, the only caveat to this is if the city did it proper in the first place, right. it wouldn't have been this bad. So I'm, I'm just asking the city to correct their mistake. Well, it wouldn't have required the expensive, larger... Equipment. Well, there was no planning and zoning. And let me tell you something. I grew up down there, not far from there. There has been flooded ever since that little girl, and I'm going on pretty old. <laughs> so that's why we're asking for you know, so, help on it, because of the much more expensive, larger... Well, what, you know, what I'm saying is that... Depending on how much it costs and how extensive it may be, you may be asking it flies every time. Uh, FEMA come in here to see if it can be declared. And you don't want that because, you know, because the insurance on that it's it's low spins. They were to come in and declare an area that's that has has your insurance. I had some money over. Go up. It's already expensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got one other issue for our new business tonight. Um, we've got a lift station that's off of Oakwood Drive, um, backwards, it's back for Sandy. Um, what was Sandy's last name? They live yeah. that that street that goes beside your house. That yeah. out that lane goes the back there. Uses. There's a lift station back there. Okay. And uh, it actually just services them, but um, it's it's burned up and it's burned up because people are still putting flushable wipes <laughs> in the in the system. It clogs up the pump, the pump burns <coughs> up, and then we've got to replace it. Well, we can get a pump to put in there, a grinder pump, that will take care of those. And it's, uh, it's going to be $4,507 the time we get it put in. Everything. How much for what? Pardon? How much? $4,507. 4507 <coughs> And I'm just uh, requesting that purchase um, what will that be taken out of uh, we'll be taken out. does it come out of the sewer account uh, I mean ultimately yeah ultimately it has to come out of that but we can we can use um, we can use occupational tax because it's infrastructure you know it, how, how you said it's continually had problems, it's burned up before or been replaced? Well, 
it happens all over town. It's not just there. It's an, it's an ongoing issue everywhere. Uh, Greece is another big issue. You know, we've had problems with, uh, we had to go to the hospital and, and have them clean out their grease trap and rest home the same way. And Bob side GA has got the same issue. You know, they just have to keep their traps clean, but the grease gets in there and it comes through as uh, hits that a water big coagulated mess. Mm -hmm. Well, this everything is like that. Pardon? Everything else that goes in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'd be surprised what they've dug <laughs> out. Blankets, so mop heads, you oh, know, this is stuff that's yeah. supposed oh, to go yeah. through a commode, you know, and I don't know how somebody gets a blanket through a commode. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> but we've had that. We've had, uh, like I said, the grease is one of the biggest problems. We had to put acid in there, the greaser. And so anyway, um, We've gotten river bend stopped from using wipes. We used to have an ongoing problem down there. There were so many different apartments and it looked like everybody was using those flushable wipes. But, but um, they make pumps, but you gotta go to a bigger pump that's designed differently to handle that kind of stuff. And we've, we've tried to get by without having to go that route, you know, smaller. And mo for most areas, it'll work, you know, little small areas. Uh, you don't get the huge, big influx of these flushables. But anyway, this is one place where we just have ongoing problems, so. Okay. I make the motion that we uh, move on getting that grinder. And I guess the funds be taken out of occupational tax mm. account. Okay. Is there any discussion to it? All in favor of lifting hand. Thank you. Motion carried. Uh, I've got one informational, just a reminder. The ad for the water tank project was in this week's paper. Yeah. And the uh, We'll have a pre-bid meeting with all the buy, all the uh, bidders, uh, but the actual bid opening will be July the 13th here. I think it'll be, he mentioned having it down at the water plant, so uh, I, I told him we can have it here, probably a little better, but anyway, just a reminder, July 13th is the bid opening for that project. Okay, that's all I've got. Has anybody else got anything you want to bring up? Um, I have something. I don't even know if it it wouldn't be votable or nothing, but I, it it caught my attention. I know that we pay for the Oakwood Drive Cemetery to be mowed, and they do a really good job. Um, an individual on their crew the other day had a really foul shirt on. I mean, it okay. F you on it, and um, he's representing the city. So uh, I mean, I represent. Well, <laughs> they're if we hire them. They think they, everybody thinks they well, are. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean. Um, if we're hiring them, that's a representation yeah. of the city. And um, I know it may be petty to some. We'll, but say, we'll say something to them next time we have him a check. <laughs> okay. okay. And I don't know who owns the business. It was one on the crew. I don't know. Uh, we just have the best luck with him. You know, he's very. That's good work. I'm not talking yeah. about the work. I mean, they'll be out there in the rain when it's their day to mow, and they'll, I'm just they'll thinking still if, do a good if, job. So. If we've hired someone, they. We've got a lot of compliments. We've had people say they don't even live here. They've said we won't really buy some plots and be buried here because we see how you take care of the wow. cemetery. So. I know it's going up through the Oakwood Drive cemetery side, that big steep bank there. Right. Yeah. It just trim perfect yeah on the other side where the park is it's grown up a foot and a half high i'll tell jason <laughs> <laughs> he mowed it two months ago yeah <laughs> we need to hire them for the park too. <laughs> that week. just change his shirt so. he does they do wonderful work they just if it's yeah. a representation of Murphy. people we're paying it yeah. doesn't look good i don't think we'll take care of it since uh, here's here's something Wondered if you all could put that up on the front window, maybe one where people drive through. That that's coming up in September. Okay. Yeah, be glad to put one on the front door too. 
Yes, sir. I'd like to say something before we dismiss. Okay. <laughs> I want to say to the council members, the staff, the clerks, and I want you to know that yesterday the mayor, the council member, Jason, uh, <laughs> Bo, they jumped out there on the trash trucks. If not, the trash would have been really backed up and behind. And I want to recommend them for what they done. Now, they don't recommend me. I, yeah. they recommend me. I hope because I was. they done a fine job. I'm, well, you did. Today. You well, helped today I'm, too. I'm used so. to doing that. I don't worry. And I'd that. heard that. Thank you all very much. What's? Yes. The, are we short-handed? Are people sick? What's We're short-handed. We've we've had one that quit about a week or two ago, and then I've got another one that's having problems with the heat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, it makes us about short-handed. I've hired another one today. Okay. And I've got another one that you gave me. I haven't followed up with him, you know, about hiring um, him. Yeah, Mayor, I, kudos to you, and I didn't do it very long. Kudos to both of you all. I mean, uh, I try to give this man a break, but listen, he's uh, he's a working horse. He's so. a working horse. I paid for him, too. Stop last night. Wait until he got home. Yeah. <laughs> no. My, my, my legs got the cramp. One thing that I do night. have before we, we adjourn. Yeah. Um, the judges approached me about this building back here. That uh, one. This that building one back department. here. Yeah. The um, old fire station. What it is is the coroner's office is getting a new cooling system and wanting to see if we can have access for that office. I'm putting my county hat on now. <laughs> uh, wanting to have access to that office in that bay right there in that point. They got a cooler coming tomorrow and they need somewhere to plug it in. Now, which bay is it that they... It's the bay. First. They're in the last one on the end. Yeah. They're wanting oh, the one next to the office? Yes. Okay, the one next to the office. And, and, and that bay right there, yeah. Okay, what about behind there? There's a little garage-type thing. Uh, they need that, too. I mean, of course, it's open, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we're just... Okay. So, um, so if we get it clean... They're going to leave us with the two middle ones? Yes. Okay. Yep. So, if we can just get that moved to that direction... Um, that's all they're asking. Yeah, I don't know where we put stuff, but maybe we scoot it over yeah. one more bay or something. Did you see any motion or anything? Or just uh, a conversation? Conversation. They coming please. tomorrow? The cooler is, but I think we can work around that if they just have it opened up enough where they can put that oh, and plug okay. it on. That cooler just needs to be plugged in when, they get, oh. when it gets here. Oh. Basically, whenever somebody comes and they have to identify a body, they're going to have a room where you can walk through and just make it more uniformed instead of a, a bay that they're looking so at. So they're, they're wanting to make it permanent? Yes. We, yep. we talked about that anyway. It's, How much stuff does the city it's, get stored up there? Well. It's not, I went up there the other day. It's, it's a couple truckloads. They have been working on it here and there, and it looks better than it has in a little, little while. They own the building. We uh, they own the building. Uh, we, don't, okay. we don't own it. You know, so <laughs> we pretty much have to be thankful right. that they leave us for two It would be days. nice if us let them use their building then, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs> yeah. That's why they don't mind waiting until the day before. <laughs> I think we, it's on our insurance policy, isn't it? We, we insure the building, but of course, we well, own then we three, need, I'll, we I'll bring that three to three of it. I'll so. bring that to our attention, too. I mean, so, that's all I got. Okay. I make the motion we adjourn. Yeah. All in favor? <laughs> Thank you.